Five tips in five minutes. One, right-click and drag the colonists on the top bar to rearrange them. Two, scare away predators without fighting them by firing at a nearby sleeping spot. Don't mix dirt and non-dirt floors in your base. Anytime a colonist or animal walks on dirt, some dirt can stick to their feet. Anytime that pawn then walks on non-dirt floor, the dirt can fall off. Concrete's just fine. Draft the doctor and forest tend to save people in the field. Even works on enemies. Unforbid everything at any time by right-clicking the allow tool. Great for the start of the game or finding rim kill the butcher. Be aware it does unforbid rotten old corpses. Zoom out and double click to find or count things. Want to see all the berries? Find a bush, zoom out, double click. How much wood is cut? Zoom out, double click. Shift key to queue up multiple orders. Select a colonist. Right click to force to cut down a tree. Hold shift. Right click another's tree. Or draft a colonist. Right click to move somewhere. Hold shift. Right click to move somewhere else. Fire can jump every other cell. A too wide zone of non-burnable flooring, like concrete, can be a fire break. Or roof two cells away. Roofing will kill all the plants and create a non-burnable too wide dirt fire break. You might want three or even four wide for extra safety because silly things happen in RimWorld and items or corpses may end up in the fire break. Other faction bases restock 30 days after you visit. Click another faction on the world map and hit show what will buy to see the timer. The bottom right has toggles, notably auto rebuild. Turn this on and when something blows up, it automatically gets remade. Auto home zone. If you turn this off, you have to manually adjust your home zone, but that might be worth it. Search box. Oh, look. There's my Jade Club. Fertility Overlay. Dark green equals fertile. Fertile soil grows faster. Fertile soil grows crops faster. Try to start near some fertile soil when possible. A greenhouse like this can let you grow crops year-round. Roof it and turn on the heater and sun lamp in the winter. Unroof it and turn off the heater sun lamp in the summer to save power. Work tab. Manual priorities in the upper left have more control. Schedule tab. I suggest using one of these schedules. Start at the top. If one of your colonists is unhappy, set that colonist to the next schedule down on the list. If they're still unhappy, go down another one. Assign tab. You can change to auto attack here, but I suggest staying on flea. Click a medicine icon here to change a single person's medicine. Click the change defaults button at the bottom to change all the default medicines. The top outfit, food restriction, and drug policy get assigned to all new prisoners, colonists, and guests. Change anything lavish social drugs to default clothing, default food, default drugs, and adjust the policy to be the default you want. I suggest doing default simple meals so prisoners automatically get set to eat simple meals only and manually change the colonists you want to eat better. For clothing, I suggest setting 51% or higher and unchecked tainted. For drugs, I suggest a policy like this. It basically says don't have mental breaks, instead take drugs. Only set it for people 18 or older. On the animals tab, there's an auto slaughter menu here. Perhaps set it to something like one adult male and two adult females to maintain a somewhat manageable herd. Wildlife tab, do a regular predator check and scare away the close predators. Animals without a revenge chance can be freely hunted. More than one research bench can work. Virtually all the researchers are fine. Get what you want. If you don't know what you want, I suggest going right up the middle. Try to get comms console before you run out of materials. The comms console lets you trade your junk for good stuff. ABC, always buy components. Fabrication will let you make your own components. Deep drill and ground penetrating scanner will let you have infinite materials. Once you get fabrication, deep drill, and ground penetrating scanner, you can have all the stuff you want without leaving your map. And five, my number one tip, play how you find fun. Change storyteller and difficulty anytime mid-game. Menu, options, gameplay, storyteller setting, modify. Change storyteller on the left, the storyteller controls the frequency and not the size of things. The difficulty, or more accurately, this threat scale slider, controls the size of things like raids. Take your best guess at what is fun for you and then feel free to change things anytime mid-game. Want a difficult management game but not crazy hard combat? Custom. Set the standard playstyle. Losing is fun. Then take the threat scale slider and drop it down. Notably, some enemies die mysteriously when they fall over. Turn that setting off by dropping enemy death on down all the way to zero. All these difficulties, options, and settings exist so you can play the game the way you want. Everyone is different. You do you. I'm Mortal Smurf. I play RimWorld. Thanks for watching.